Okay, welcome back. So, um, at the moment, you can see I've added a few more donors, and um, we're essentially looking at blood donors um, in a text file which we are reading from, and you can see that here. We've outputted it, but our program is meant to be able to find a blood donor. It doesn't really do that at the moment, it just prints them all out. So, let's um, have a go at um, programming it so that we can find a um, specific blood donor based on the blood group. Over here then we've got a few options. Do we want to um, output all blood donors? Um, and then also we'll have a look at um, C, find a blood donor, backslash N for a new line. Okay, so this would be Ellen. Um, task equals, if they say they want to do B, then it will do that, and at the moment let's just say Nelson, or we could say Ellen, and task equals C, we shall um, essentially output um, only the ones which you want to find, so let's say um, find donor, we'll make a new procedure for that, and then else We'll say print this is not recognized and we'll return to main. So we'll just start all over again effectively. Okay, so um, let's start coding find donor. It's going to be very similar to um, the one above, which was for um, the file reading, isn't it? So let's just do that here. Def file, what do we say? Find donor. Yeah. Find donor. And we're going to um, open our file. We're going to output it exactly the same. But the only thing we're changing then is um, how we are. Um, ah, this is a good point, actually. We shouldn't really be repeating the code, should we? Um, Then our file read. Okay. Um, let's just replicate the code now and we'll think about efficiency um, later on. So we read in our file and this time we need to ask them um, what they are looking for. So let's say um, in here um, we're going to ask what um, blood group are you looking for? So, blood group equals input, uh, please enter the blood group you are looking for, question mark. And then what we can do is um, we can loop through our file, and um, in here we can put in an if statement which says, if um, the blood group um, is a match with our read list, this is our 2D list that we've um, read in from our file. Um, count, and we it's not going to be details this time because we know exactly which um, sub element it's in. This is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three. So it's going to be in position three, uh, index three. So if the blood group is equal to read this count three, then it's matched effectively. Um, and we can print that. What we're also going to do is we're going to set a boolean flag here. So we'll say found equals false. So if it matches, we'll say found equals true. We'll print all of those out and a new line. And if at the end of all our record, if found is still equal to false, um, we can say print no records or no donors were found for blood group uh, and we'll concatenate in our blood group. So let's see if this works. Uh, this should be um, find a blood donor which is C. Please enter the blood group you're looking for. Let's just type one that we know exists. So let's go for um, O positive because there's a couple of those. 
and you'll see that it's outputted both Elizabeth Hudson and Alex Parry. What happens if we're trying to find a blood donor which doesn't exist? So let's say, for example, we type O negative. Doesn't work. No donors were found. Blood group O negative. Okay, so that's how you would actually find a record um, in a 2D list stored in a file and selectively output that.